Hey guys, I love the podcast. This is, uh, I just go by ND Hater One, um, on Twitter. Um, anyways, I had a question mainly for Mitchell. And this is about those, those fans in Indiana that are IU basketball and Notre Dame football fans. Are they as annoying to the, the, the team or do you guys even, uh, really pay attention to that? But it just drives me nuts whenever I, I see these people that as soon as, uh, Notre Dame football is uh, out, they, they get out their IU basketball stuff and, don't give any uh, IU football the love it, it needs. Um, and also, just while we're on Notre Dame, can, can we just stop talking about the linebacker as this this legendary, awesome college bar? It, it, it does suck. All right. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good week. Hey, guys. I love the podcast. Oh, let me stop this that. Is, uh, <laughs> He's getting a special shout-out. Uh, ND Hater, man, what an awesome question. Uh, first of all, I don't think you're going to find somebody – that is more of an ND hater than me. Uh, I grew up an IU fan and a Miami Hurricanes football fan. My dad's from Miami, so I had it on both ways. We had the Catholics versus convicts, uh, but also grew up in Indianapolis. So I was very familiar with the IU basketball fan that liked Notre Dame football and had no idea Indiana even had a football team. What I would say about him is it's just somebody that lives in the past. Um, All those guys are talking about the 1980s like they're today. And I I honestly feel bad for him uh, because you're – I'm an IU basketball fan myself, so I get some of this as well. This is making fun of me too. Uh, But I can't imagine every fall and every winter you get so much hope just to be dashed like at least with Indiana football like right now you turn them on and hope we score a touchdown we're not very good but Notre Dame uh I mean they can pay the players with anybody in the country they can recruit with anybody in the country the campus is whatever people say it's beautiful I'm out on the campus but uh I mean to to have games like I, I, the Ohio State one, I understand, but to just get absolutely waxed by Louisville, you build up your entire life for this Notre Dame football team that's just been disappointing since Lou Holtz was the coach. Uh, I can't even imagine. Uh, nothing rings more true than when they made it to the national championship and lost by, I think, a thousand. I think Alabama just <laughs> scored again in that game. So uh, to them, I, I just say I feel bad for you. You you should try cheering for a team. Uh that you have a little victories. Notre Dame never has any victories because the expectations are always undefeated. So you're always sad. So uh, people that are Notre Dame football fans, come on down to Bloomington. You'll have way cheaper tickets. You'll have a better tailgate experience probably. um, And all kinds of room in the stadium to spread (laughs) out, get comfortable. Uh, So, I I mean, obviously I'm mostly messing around, but yeah, if we could, it was amazing when Indiana was winning games, how many of those same people were texting me about Indiana football. I mean, it it really just, it takes winning, unfortunately. It's it's annoying that we can't get the state of Indiana to cheer for the Hoosiers in football, but um, for a long time, we haven't given them a reason. So we have to to put some product on the field. I'd be crazy to think that anybody that's in that position is going to jump ship because I don't want to be on the ship. Do you feel like I've I've never, I've never experienced a lot of the, because I don't live in the area of the Notre Dame football, Indiana basketball people. Oh man. Do you feel like if the, and maybe some of this happened back in, I guess it was 2019, 2020 and we'll move off of football because I'm listening to the football podcast. Um, but I do want to hear the thoughts on this. Do you think that if Indiana football had sustained success, that the the ones that are Indiana basketball, Notre Dame football, would jump ship to Indiana football? Uh, Notre Dame, I give them their credit. They have phenomenal fans. They are diehard. They travel to Ireland. They travel to California. Uh, they're Ohio State level to me in terms of fan participation. Uh, so to – Expect them to completely jump ship. No way. But having a team like most of those people, for whatever reason, I'm picturing a UConn XL 
with an Indiana Indiana basketball and Notre Dame sticker on either side of the back windshield. That's what I'm picturing. I grew up in Carmel. You can definitely tell with that comment that I just made. <laughs> uh, yeah. But if you, I mean, winning cures everything. Think about uh, if you're paying any attention to athletics in Bloomington right now, the volleyball team is sick. They're beating everyone. And that arena is sold out. Winning cures everything. The, the girls' soccer team is awesome. The men's soccer team, they sell out the stadium. People want to be around winners. And it just is unfortunately not happening for football. But we saw in 2021, you open up with Ohio State, that place is packed for the first time in probably ever. Um, and so, yeah, I think you'd, you'd get people to pay attention. Maybe not jump ship, but they would be, yeah. they'd be paying attention to the Hoosiers for sure. Well, thank you for the call, Indy Hater. You have the you have the honor of being the very first ever yeah, I out love of that touch question. caller. I, I love that question. It's one that I used to get asked a whole bunch about, um, particularly when Indiana was good, but not as much anymore. 